well, before I get into this video, I know that I say a lot that I will actually be unboxing everything I did on camera, but the video ended up being like 20 minutes long and then my camera died, so I won't be unboxing anything. I will be showing you everything I got, so just wanted to let you know in case anyone was concerned. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? My name is the Super Geek 100 and I'm back from Comic-Con. I have part two of my birthday haul. Before I do that, Comic-Con was absolutely amazing. Um, just the fact that there's this community of people that love the same things I do was great. Uh, day one, I was Wolverine. That went pretty cool. One person asked me for a picture. Um, and it was like a, like a professional photographer, which is pretty cool. The second day, I got two people that asked me for a picture. And the third day, I was Jay Garrick. So many people asked me for a picture. It was amazing. Like, there was a hawk girl, um, a super girl that asked me for a picture. The super girl was pretty hot, too. Um, it was one based on the show. This awesome Deathstroke cosplay. Just so many people. It really was amazing. Like, this little kid dressed up with the Flash. And then there was this, like, five-year-old girl that was like... <laughs> freaking out um to get a picture with me so it was really a, a great great experience um so into the hall first thing i got this was totally free but i had to pick it up it's a uh captain america poster and it says tampa bay comic con on the bottom going right on my wall. Uh, and then the pass needed to get into Comic-Con. I had a uh, re-entry thing so I could actually walk into, just I wouldn't have to wait on the line, I could just walk right in. On to the action figures. I got too many. Um, I'm kidding, that's not a thing. I will not actually be unboxing this particular one, I'll be unboxing all the rest of them. So, this is the very first figure I got. I had to get it. This was the Tampa Bay Comic Con exclusive Unmasked Batgirl. This was $40. I had to cough up for it. Um, I had a lot of birthday money, thank goodness. So, um, I got number 51 of 200. It's from Emerald City Comics. If you have one near you, uh, comment down below. But this is, like, supposed to be a Mego figure. But I will not be unboxing this. I will always keep this in the package. I'll probably just, like, hang it on off my shelf or something. So there's that. I guess I will be unboxing. The Batman Arkham Origins Batman action figure. Most of these are pretty old figures. But I wanted to have them just because they were really cool looking. I got this for 20 bucks. This one I got for 25 This is the DC Multiverse um, Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. The other figures. This is not a Collect and Connect. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Oh, I was really excited when I got this one. This is the Marvel Legends Grey Hulk. Except this is from 2005, and this is before Hasbro got the license. This is a Toy Biz Marvel Legend. So this is pretty old, and I've always wanted uh, Toy Biz Marvel Legends. They tend to be better than the newer ones. And then we have, and it includes a reprint of uh, Hulk's very first appearance. I got the uh, Hobgoblin. This is a pretty new one. It's from the uh, Space Venom Wave. I will not be doing reviews for any of these, um, mainly just because I'm lazy, but, <laughs> uh, also because I'm very tired from Comic-Con. It was an amazing experience, but I'm extremely tired, so I, I just hope you guys understand. It's not because, uh, I don't want to do them, but, and the reviews from the last action figures I unboxed in the, uh, last video. I have shot all of those videos, uh, I had n absolutely no time to edit them because it was crazy hectic trying to get out the door for Comic Con the next day. Final action figure is 
the first appearance of Daredevil. I really wanted to pick this up, especially since Charlie Cox, the actor who plays Daredevil on the Netflix show, was at Comic-Con, which was really cool. I have a pretty cool story before I unbox these. So, I was eating breakfast. I think it was the third day of Comic-Con or something. So, I, I'm, at, I'm at the table eating the mountain of breakfast I got from the buffet. And then, uh, I get up to go to the bathroom. I turn around. <laughs> and then I look, I look to my right in a, in a booth. And in, in the booth was Ian McDiarmid. Um, he plays Emperor Palpatine in the prequels. And I was like, holy crap! Oh, um, what did I do to... Now I'm Wolverine. Uh, and it was crazy. And then when uh, our cousins came for a visit, when my dad and I went to come on, my mom and sister stayed in the hotel. As we they were leaving, I saw Sean Astin, who plays Sam in... Um, Lord of the Rings, he's also in the Goonies, get into a big black van for him to be brought home, I think, to, I don't know where he was going, or maybe do another Comic-Con, but I waved, and he waved back, so that was really cool, so I saw a few celebrities up close and in person, which was, um, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, I uh, hope you enjoyed, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, share this with your friends, add this to your favorites, and I'll see you guys next time, bye guys!